I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the shingle oak. Shingle oak, Quercus imbricaria, is a stately tree of the red oak group. This group has willow-like or laurel-like leaves, and many consider it to be one of the most handsome of the oaks. It has an attractive branching pattern with a rounded canopy that casts a medium to deep shade during the summer months. It is a medium-sized tree that typically grows about 40 to 60 feet tall and 24 to 36 inches in diameter. It does reach its largest size in the Mississippi River Valley. It may be one of the best oaks, but it's not commonly used as an ornamental. Shingle oak has a relatively small range and is native to the central United States. It is found in Kentucky except parts of eastern half of the state and is most common in the Knobs region of the state. It is typically found growing in uplands with good drained soil but is tolerant of various sites. However, best growth is in relatively moist soils on lower hillsides. It is relatively drought tolerant and tolerates urban conditions. The leaves are deciduous, alternately arranged on the twig, and simple in form. They're about 3 to 7 inches long, and they're broadly lance shaped and the margins are unlobed, unlike most of the oaks, but they do have the bristle tip like the red oak group. The leaves resemble laurel leaves and are a good characteristic to distinguish from other oaks. They are somewhat leathery, shiny, dark, green above and lighter below, and can be somewhat fuzzy on the underside. Fall color is yellowish brown to a russet red, and some leaves may persist through the winter. Shingle oak is monoecious, which means the tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are on slender yellow catkins, and the female flowers are on short spikes. The flowers bloom as the leaves are about half grown, and the flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is a smallish acorn that's about 5 eighths of an inch long with a thin cap that covers almost half of the nut. Acorns are solitary or in pairs and the acorns mature in the fall of the second year after the flowers have been pollinated. The acorns tend to be bitter and germinate the following spring and they are disseminated by wind, gravity, and wildlife. The bark is gray-brown and quite hard. It has broad irregular ridges and very shallow furrows. The wood is very strong and kind of a pale reddish brown. It's similar to the other red oaks. Oaks in general are important for wildlife, and shingle oak is no different. The tree provides nesting sites and good cover for birds and mammals late into the season since oaks leaves typically persist longer than their other plant associates. The acorns are an important food source for wild turkey, blue jays, red-headed and red-bellied woodpeckers, nuthatches, crackles, raccoons, white-tailed deer, and squirrels. The acorns of the red oak group are especially important in the winter because acorns from the white oak group germinate right after they drop in the fall and are not available throughout the winter months. The national champion shingle oak as of 2021 is in Jefferson County, Kentucky. It's 190 inches in circumference, 115 feet tall, with a 125 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about shingle oak. Early settlers in North America used this tree to make shingles, leading to the common name shingle oak. Another common name is laurel oak due to the resemblance of the leaves. Quercus is the Latin name for the oak, and Imbricaria, which is the species name, is derived from the Latin word Imbricatus, which means covered with overlapping scales or plates. I hope you enjoyed learning about this interesting oak and get the chance to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and see the shingle oak.